Gordon. Hello everyone, welcome to the Across the Park Insta Match Reaction. It's incredible, you have it to Bournemouth 3. I don't think I've, I mean, I've seen some crazy scenes at, at Goodison. I don't think I've seen three goals as late as that, or goals as late as that to, for us to lose the game. Absolutely bizarre, Millsy. It was like the West Ham game under Martinez. And maybe lost 3 2 there, and yeah, it, just, yeah. it just kept coming. And at 2 1, you felt it. And at 2 2, you felt it. Yeah, not, not, that it late. not that late, though. No, not look, that late. It was look, the time to so good. Yeah. People who were going to say agendas, and I've been waiting for this moment and stuff. But I'm like, that's not true, but that's on the manager. That them substitutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only substitution that happened today was the 91st minute, we're having a 3 0 up. And Zai goes yeah. off at that point. Yeah, yeah. Because he was running the show. Even every time we got the ball, he showed we're, for it. They were backing up. They showed for it. He yeah. and we were on the attack. That was that was a three 0 game for Everton. The minute the minute you take a player off who's as threatening threatening as he was, it allows them to push forward because they think there's no threat there. I mean, you take you take him off, you take Cal Calvert Lewin off, you take our two only threats. Don't we? Decore came on, and Decore was nowhere near as high up the pitch that Inzaghi mm. was. Decore went into a three, but he's done nothing. And they make five substitutions, yeah. attacking substitutions. And all of a sudden, the game is completely changed. Our manager has let us down there today. And again, I'm, this is not a witch hunt. I'm not his biggest fan in the world. Grateful for the job that he has done because he's got the shitty end of the stick, 100%. And I'm mm. grateful for what he does. But too many times, he gets it wrong. There's, yeah. there's a, a massive winless run last year, which, which got us in trouble. And yet he got us out of it, or we got out of it in the end. But it's things like that. It's that best out for living. The game, the, game, the, the, the in game management, I don't think I've, I can remember, and, I, I, and people can correct me, I don't think I can remember a game where the manager changed the game. Now, what we're giving a bit of credit for, I thought the performance up until the 80th minute today was excellent. I thought yeah. the players were on it from the first it whistle. Was. I thought the changes were the right changes. Michael Keane, who we, you know, we despise a lot of the good. time, was good. He scored a goal. But you're right, I think it, 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 the game in the end is unfortunately been the tale of two managers one manager who's made changes that have affected the game positively and another manager who's affected the game negatively he's now got, he's watched their subs and he's bricked it and he's got i need to call you on yeah maybe yeah. Off and it didn't easy but it didn't you're right we were managing the game well and, and sometimes and he's he's actually been the person who said this a number of times himself in press conferences there's no need to change i, I can't change the game or i won't change the game if i don't think the players who are coming on are going to improve it why didn't he do that today for once I mean, it's it's incredibly frustrating because it, it's actually got up to the 80th minute, one of the one of the most enjoyable games I've had at Goodison for a while. At the time, our defenders had the ball, or Eric Boom had the ball. He looked for the outlet, which was Enzai, mm. and he took it off. And all you're doing there is inviting it and inviting it. And when the first went in, you could see the panic. I felt it at the park ends. But you've seen the team talk, I'll see Cornwall a bit like, fucking hell, we're in trouble here. And then the, the crosses are coming in. Every cross, of the six yard box. Isn't that a goalkeeper's job to do? Well, you talk, you talk about the genders. I, I'm going to say something again, which a lot of people are going to get their backs up because for some reason, 99% of our fan base, th fan base think he's God. And an older guy came up to us just then, about five minutes before we started it, and he said, when was the last time you seen a game where three goals were scored in the six-yard box and the goalkeeper has got nowhere near any of the crosses? And they were all crosses. They were all crosses that were hanging in the air, by the way. How on earth? Has that goalkeeper not got near any any one of them? I think, I think, I'm not, I think, I think he was panicking. He was panicking. Well, that's what he's panicking. And you know what? Ten minutes before that, he's doing his normal antics where he's like that, giving it loads to the fans, and he's he's, he's you know what? I, I can't stand. Yeah, I him. Don't mind. Look, we've got different opinions. Yeah. I think we're down shit street without him. I'm a massive fan of him. Mm. But I can't really defend three balls coming into a box, and he, he's watching the pitch. It's so game management though as well. Like it's game the management. Pitch, and he should be coming out and he should be maybe doing doing more. He should be leading the way that he leads when he's doing the other stuff that he's doing. He should be leading at that point towards the end of the game, calming his defence down, managing things, controlling things. The only time I see him shouting is after the, when the ball's out of play, and he's giving it. He's giving it to people. Then I'm just yeah. I mean, I'm frustrated as much as you are with the manager, and I'm frustrated with the manager. I thought the changes, as I said, I thought the changes. Weaken the team rather than improving it. I think Ilman and Zai, by the way, I, I've only seen him two games. I can see that he can run all day. You can see from his physique, his legs are skinny. He, he's, he's a he's a long distance runner. He's he, he's not the type of player you have to bring him. Exactly, and that's and that's the key thing. They were terrifying him, and they were terrifying the Calvert Lewin. Yeah. Calvert Lewin looked like a different player today. I said I, I expected that, but once the window closed, 
he's had a different mentality. He think, you know what, I might sure knuckle down now. I might sure get, get down to business. I thought from the first whistle, he was better today. Was two better. Play, the two players, three players including, I mean, Tim, Tim, Tim Arabunum, Arabunum. Arabunum, yeah. was excellent. I thought he probably could have come off. I thought McNeil could have come off. I thought Harrison could have come off. I thought Coleman could have come off. Those two players wouldn't have been two players that brought up. It was the sub there for me, and again, in hindsight, we're always right. The sub there on the 90th minute, and it's Lindstrom for Ndai, yeah. James Garner for the Boomer. And you're done. Yeah. Come on. And you're done. Yeah. And he's, what the manager did there for me is he put the team, he put 11 players under massive pressure. I'm watching Bournemouth take five subs. I said, well, I've actually come out five subs, they're, they're going to go for it, yeah. So in a way, I understand why he's got nerves of both. I've been to Corey on. It just wasn't. It's in game. It's in game. game management again, though. So that their their managers put out a team, a group of players that haven't performed. Yeah. Our managers put out a, a group of players that did perform. Their managers seen it, changed it, brought players on who performed better. Our managers seen it, as you say, battled it, reacted, whatever it is, brought players on that have made the team weaker. Yeah. And it, it, it's. It, I mean, I said to. Um, Gazoo sitting next to me, he says, I wouldn't be surprised to see O'Brien come on here. And you know what? It would be one. Bring O'Brien on. Get three centre. Yeah. Deal with those crosses. You look at how that how that cross and that goal comes. If you want to deal with them crosses better, bring them the centre back on. Sivistera and Uatara were just, they were going and going. And they were just flooding. Yeah. And look for the third goal there. Do you think I'll blame everyone? Michalenko at the top end of the pitch. I don't know what he was doing. He was trying, maybe trying to get everything back in the game with, Attack and play fair enough, but he, be, was, he was at fault for that. Eddie Boonham actually gives the ball away for the first goal, and uh, as long as the second, it's it's the, third, it. the third, no, Eddie Boonham gives it away, I think, to the second goal, but again, it's just. You mean, you're going to have again? Yeah. Start of the season, we're just not yeah. starting the season well. And I was looking at that scoreboard as a 2 0 thing, and do you know what? This is a massive win for us, this is massive, and, yeah. and it was a good performance up to that point, it could have been. Morale boosting you now. The fans were right there. They were, yeah, they were. The Kevin Campbell songs. Yeah, yeah. Everton songs. Yeah. I think it's right to say the Kevin Campbell trip because brilliant. It's it was. Yeah, no, no. Listen, I think that's a good, probably a good way to finish it. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's no certainly in the last 20, 30 years in Everton legends. You know, he, he obviously, admittedly, and he said that to us a number of times. I feel embarrassed calling myself a legend when I've never listed a trophy for the club, but he was a he was a big figure as he was a, he was a massive. Advocates of the club, he's a massive supporter of the club through very difficult times, and nice again, moment. touch and touch and tribute. I hope his family, you know, appreciated that and and realised how much the fans adored him. But and Rossi said, and he Rossi said, his yeah. family at pitch side, yeah, yeah. park ends on the thing was off the girls. Yeah. Keep, we don't lose that blue one. It was just nice, and it was just everything was geared up to, to be a good day. Yeah, and I just think we got that down by a manager today. I'll, I'll get the pelters for it. No, I don't think you will. I don't think you will. I think, I think many people would, dip, would disagree with that. I think a lot of people might say, look, the players need to, to take a bit of flight. And, and I agree with that as well. When you tune it up in any game, you need leaders out there. And, and you've got Coleman, you've got Tarkovsky, there are leaders. I, I didn't see a lot of people trying to manage that game. Um, and, and look, maybe that's a symptom of, of some of the signings we've made that are younger signings. But... There was enough experience out there to manage that game at 2-0 at or 2-1. Okay. But but still, I don't think the manager helped, and that's a fair point. But look, it is, as you, as you say, Mills, we're here again. We've lost what I said before the game. and, and uh, games we, Yeah, we've lost this game, which I, I thought today was a pivotal one in the sense that I think us and Bournemouth will see ourselves as being in a similar bracket of clubs that, or teams that other teams will fancy as being down there this season. I think... Losing that game to them is is is, mara- is a huge huge blow. We've got some difficult games coming up now as well. We've got we've got away games and then we've got Leicester away. You're looking at Leicester away, thinking, wow. Yeah. But it's it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. It's a game that we we should have absolutely should have won. That's and a that's a game. That's a yeah, it is. It could it could have should have been, but. Look, that's it. As, as you know, as Millsy said, then he might get pelted for some of those comments. I'm saying I'll get pelted for for Chris Sars and Jordan Pickford, but again, you know, it's it's the instant match reaction. That's what it's all about. Try and enjoy the rest of the weekends if you can. It's Everton two, Bournemouth three.